a final example, working out the structure as we go along. Uh, bear in mind, you'd usually have the mass spec and the IR, but uh, in this case, we'll just go with the NMR spectrum. So this is the spectrum we're going to analyze. There are three peaks, so three different hydrogen environments. Integration shows that they correspond to two, one, and three hydrogens, respectively. And looking at the regions, we can see that these two are within the alkyl region, and this one's in the alkyl region, but next to oxygen. So we could imagine that this three hydrogen is just a CH3 group, whereas this two hydrogen is a CH2 group, but uh, next to oxygen. If we look at the coupling, then uh, this one's a singlet, so no coupling. There's a quartet, and there's a uh, triplet. So that shows that the uh, OCH2 group and CH3 groups are next to each other. The CH2 group is split into a quartet by the neighboring uh, CH3 group, and the CH3 group is split into a triplet by the neighboring CH2 group, and the singlet doesn't couple. So here's the solution, and it was the spectrum for ethanol. Uh, infrared would usually indicate the OH group, and uh, mass spec would give you the molecular formula to start with. But uh, proton NMR is useful in determining the number and the type of hydrogen atoms in the structure and the structure of the carbon chain. Okay, I hope you found these tutorials useful. Uh, thanks for watching.